in 1990, uh, you were originally cast as Marv, uh, the Daniel Stern role in Home Alone, but uh, it, it didn't work out. What, what happened between you and Pesci? Was it the just the chemistry not working? or? Yeah, I mean, you know, look, they, they, that, that was a great story that nobody knew about. Uh, and I had, been, I had written about it in this book. And so they kind of buried my lead with, uh, with that movie of show. But they don't really tell the truth, unfortunately. Well, it's simple. They, they kind of say to me. So they wanted Chris Columbus and John Hughes wanted Daniels and uh, Joe Pesci. And uh, Stern wanted too much money for whatever. And then they gave me the part because they were going to force Stern to take less money. So the whole point of hiring me was just to do with him. Uh, they were never going to film me as Marv. I was never going to be Marv. Now, that's the one thing they never say. I was never, ever, ever going to film as Marv. I got the wettest handshake of my life from John Hugh. It was the most disappointing handshake I ever received because I was a fan of the guy. Oh, and he clearly God. didn't want me to be there. It was all so obvious. And I was only there for like four days. Um, and then there was a terrible snowstorm and I couldn't leave. After they fired me, I got stuck there. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I was so dumb. I'm like, well, I, you know, I recommended uh, Bobby Madeira. I recommended other actors to take my place. I didn't know that it was a fait accompli before I even went there. Now, the joke was on them because years later, I took out a girl who happened to at the time have been dating the business affairs guy. Well, I got all the information. I know everything that happened. As a business affairs guy, these guys are trained to screw over actors. They would come home and they'd be like, we're screwing over this guy for no reason, you know, because <laughs> they didn't want to pay me after, after they fired me. But they had to pay me. Now, here's – so that's kind of it. I, what, things that disappoint me, Chris Columbus said, I will give you a great part in my next movie. Now, I notice he's done 20 since then, and he's never called. Um, but what really was disappointing was, you know, no one ever just told me the truth. So, so here's the here's the 2020 hindsight. Uh, I didn't have to be in Home Alone, so that was hard when it came out, and it was the number one movie in the world months in a row. Right. That was hard. Home Alone too. It was hard. I wasn't part of the sequel of Home Alone. But here's the deal. Cullen, I wasn't at home alone, which meant I didn't ever have to be the guy who wasn't home. So Daniel Stern then, like if you go roll to roll or whatever, so Daniel Stern then became a million dollar in the VR. Mm -hmm. He's not Brad Pitt, and he's not going to put a million seats. Right. So the million dollars a movie probably got less for those Billy Crystal movies. But, you know, 500000 600000 anyway. Whatever he got, that's what he got, a million dollars, whatever. So that's fine. But then what? Then what? Then you're a movie star whose self-value is a million dollars or $500,000, and then nobody gives you a job because right. you're not worth it. Like, you're never going to put that much money back into the movie. So Daniel Stern, because he did get to star at Home Alone, Go to 1990, go to my IMDb, go to his IMDb, and then look what's happened since. Right, and right. It, you know, it's mind-blowing. And by the way, the money, whatever, a million, two million, three, that money's gone. Nobody has that. That was 1990. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, click on the link below to check out the full interview on the What a Character YouTube channel. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.